Hi everyone, I'm Rose, a PhD student uh, from uh, South Africa, University of Western Cape. Uh, title of my presentation, Investing for uh, Social Impact or Financial Returns, Analysis of the Effect of the Blue Growth uh, in Fishing Communities uh, Livelihood. Next slide, um, presentation outline. Next, uh, introduction. Uh, this paper discusses the effect of uh, investment within a framework of blue growth uh, on cost of fishing communities uh, livelihood and for sure uh, the investments have not only been a source for economic growth uh, but has brought high expectations and hope for bright future uh, in these communities uh, in the study area next uh, there are several we have uh, oil and gas uh, port expansion uh, to mention a few uh, next slide uh, this paper examines now how these investments affect coastal communities livelihood and how these investments have contributed uh, to achieving indicators contained in the Tanzanian uh, national five-year development plan uh, variables studied uh, uh, include income uh, employment, uh, enrollment in primary education, access to potable water, uh, health care center, primary school uh, classrooms, uh, tenure and security. And the data was collected from uh, 2005 uh, to 2019. Next slide. Uh, this is a methodology. Uh, about 78 uh, key informant interview were uh, employed. Uh, to understand uh, investments in the area and also 24 individual interviews were held uh, to uh, get an understanding of a monthly household income and 248 uh, household surveys were conducted to understand impacts on the well-being indicators and 12 uh, focus group uh, discussion uh, were uh, conducted uh, to understand experiences in the conflict in the study. Next slide is on methodology. Uh, this is the study area and uh, it is uh, in the southernmost part uh, of the country in Tuara and it borders the Indian Ocean. Uh, this area is a marine uh, by the Ivaste hot spot and uh, there is a discovery of gas uh, and we have uh, prospects for oil. Uh, Biodiversity richness uh, supports uh, uh, a lot of uh, fishing communities who are involved in small scale fishing, subsistence farming, etc. Uh, next slide is on our key findings. Now, uh, corporate social responsibilities uh, with enrollment in primary school uh, indicated that uh, it was uh, slightly lower uh, before investment, but higher, uh, slightly higher after investment. And this did not meet the national targets identified in the national uh, five-year development plan. And it was positively correlated with the CSRs, but statistically was not as uh, significant. In the villages, however, highest enrollment was in the rural areas. Uh, this implies that uh, we had um, uh, a campaign uh, for free education in 2015 and also campaign to build the classrooms, uh, primary uh, school classrooms. And also the, there was a, a development of um, primary education development plan in 2001. And this could have been the, 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 the reasons uh, that contributed to the observed results and not... Uh, really uh, the support from investments. Uh, next slide with, will be on uh, CCRs and income. Highest income was in 2013. Uh, income did not attain the national targets and there was weak and positive correlation uh, with CSRs, but statistically was not significant. And highest income was observed in urban uh, areas. Uh, this implies that maybe communities were engaged in other activities apart from uh, working in the investment or Many fishers were leaving um, fishing activities in the absence of high tech to go offshore uh, fishing. Uh, and possibly there were other interventions from government or uh, development partners. Uh, next slide is on uh, CSRs and employment. And employment, on the other hand, has a gradual increase uh, before investment. And after investment, it dropped, but it picked up again uh, in 2014. Uh, and did not attain the national targets, and there were positive correlation with the CSRs, but statistically uh, not significant. Employment was low in urban areas compared to rural areas, and this implies that in 2014, 
2015, there was a review of government policies and contracts for most investment activities, and probably uh, there were no much employment to the to, to the community. It could also be due to increasing restrictions uh, on foreign investment, resulted into decline in foreign direct uh, investment and foreign inflows, and this uh, could have. Uh, 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 affected the income uh, locally. Uh, next slide is uh, on uh, uh, access to healthcare centers, and access to healthcare centers was constant throughout the study uh, period and did not attain the national targets uh, identified in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the plan. And the access is posi positively correlated with CSRs but not statistically significant. And uh, more urban areas had access uh, compared to uh, rural areas. And this implies that large percentage of these communities may have accessed the centers in the nearby villages outside the study area. And possibly other interventions uh, from the government and the development partner. Or possibly what was agreed uh, during contractual phase uh, was not uh, fulfilled by these investments. Our next slide is on access to school classrooms and was constant throughout the study uh, period. And access was um, uh, uh, low uh, before investment. But uh, w w yes, the access exceeded the, 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 the target uh, before in investment, but uh, uh, after investment, it dropped. And uh, uh, also, uh, it was uh, weak and positive correlated with CSRs, but not statistically uh, significant. In the villages, however, the highest access uh, was observed in the rural areas, and only uh, in one uh, village in rural areas. And this implies that CSRs have no effect on access to primary school at, in the study area. But uh, we remember that in uh, the, the campaign in 2002, uh, building classrooms may have contributed to observed uh, results. Next slide was uh, is on access to portable water. And access was constant throughout the study area and did not did meet the national target uh, before uh, investment. After investment, uh, it was not achieved. And there was a strong and positive correlation, but statistically uh, not significant. And access was more in the urban areas uh, compared to a rural area, except one village in the, in the, in the rural. And this implies that maybe large percent of the communities may have accessed these centers uh, the, the, the water from other uh, villages nearby. Uh, next slide is on uh, tenure and security. And about 77 of households uh, do not have access to uh, land tenure and security, but 23% do have uh, do not have access this access throughout the study uh, period. Access did not meet the national targets, and access was weak and negatively correlated, and statistically was not uh, significant. The access is observed more in urban areas compared to rural areas, and this implies that in rural areas there are no formal settlements where there is a chain of inheritance from a parent to a grandchildren, and contribution. Uh, possibly contribution from urban efforts uh, from the government might have uh, contributed to the observed uh, results. Next slide is on key findings. Uh, results indicate no noticeable effect on the well-being indicators. Uh, further analysis shows that interventions by government and development partner may, may had more uh, uh, impact compared to uh, CSRs uh, by investments. Uh, this uh, therefore raises questions with regard to uh, as whether such investments are overly driven by financial returns under the cover of supporting uh, these uh, local communities' uh, well-being. Uh, the non-focus on social and economic needs is also amplified uh, by reported uh, conflicts in the next slide. And we have seen several of these. Uh, uh, reduced land, uh, relocation of settlements, blockage and destruction of fishing gears, increased seismic surveys, uh, gears confiscated by marine parks. All, all these are the conflicts which uh, uh, were observed. Next slide is on 
uh, key messages uh, uh, to take home. Uh, investment in Imtuara have not met uh, local communities' expectation in the sense that local communities are not worse off after investment than before in investment, given the various CSRs that have been carried out in the area. But some of these uh, well-being indicators have not met the national targets, and most of them have not met the, the, the national targets. Uh, also, investment have led to conflicts which have not been resolved, although uh, come exists. A situation that trigger uh, to call for developing uh, strategies that include criteria uh, and the international standard to enforce CSRs and unpack uh, blue growth uh, strategies. Uh, this is the end of my presentation. Uh, thank you guys. Bye-bye.